These are among the issues raised at the second Strategic Dialogue of Education Minister SDEM in Bandung, Indonesia last Thursday. Education Minister Dato Sri Mazik Halid said the benefit in using IT in learning and teaching cannot be denied. Guru sekarang ni duduk dalam di luar daripada digital native nak bawa ke dalam uh, digital native juga. Maknanya digital immigrant. <laughs> Jadi uh, murid dah jadi digital native. Uh, kita ni semua digital immigrant. So nak bawa ke dalam tu. Ha, kemudian kita nak assimilate kan. Nak assimilate kan maknanya core business tu ialah mendidik. Masih mendidik. Masih ada classroom. Tapi dibantu oleh teknologi sekali. Ha, itu saya ingat uh, kena buatlah sebab apa? Sebab selain daripada murid dapat maklumat daripada guru, murid juga dapat maklumat daripada teknologi. Dia balik rumah dia pergi tengok uh, dia punya internet. Dia Google, dia akan dapat juga ilmu tu. So, kita, lebih baik kita... Ha, ini yang dipanggil Sekolah Abad 21, Bilik Darjah Abad 21, Guru Abad ke-21. He pointed out that Indonesia have already adopted IT in education and the results have been promising. During the dialogue session, Malaysia also stressed on the importance of early childhood education and strengthening of the technical and vocational education and training programs. It was important to note that preschool education and TVET were among the seven key areas identified by SDEM. Malaysia's success in producing high-skilled workers has attracted the interest of various countries, including Laos. During a meeting with Laos Education and Sports Minister Dr. Kung Si Sengmani, Dr. Sri Mazi expressed Malaysia's willingness to share its expertise with its fellow ASEAN member country. Dari segi uh, peningkatan kualiti guru, dia minta tolong tengok yang nak buat nak buat kursus ni macam mana. And then yang kedua dia bercakap juga pasal uh, TVET, technical vocational, uh, dia kata Malaysia ada sikit sebanyak pengalaman, kalau boleh mereka berkongsi uh, bidang ini supaya menam, men, menambahkan uh, kemahiran di kalangan orang muda mereka. The dialogue was attended by over 100 officials and ministers from Southeast Asian countries aimed at expanding the education agenda.